For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to continue Linux tutorial complete beginners guide by Tech ARK IT. So in this video session, we are going to see uh, one of the topic called standard input output and error so understanding the redirection features like example how the file descriptor we can use it to redirect the input output and errors into the uh, log files or how we can uh, input to the terminal using the file all of this so let's begin the session and see what we can do over here so the basic workflow of any linux command is that it takes an input and gives an output so example if you want to do some list of the files what is there in that directory so you can just use ls command so that is an input we are giving as an ls then there is an output called what are the files in directory it will show on the screen so example the standard input the stood in uh, devices most of the times keyboard or it may be sometimes the some barcode readers are uh, like uh, pens like digital pens we can use to give the standard input okay but the standard output is example is the screen so the display screen monitor uh, which gives the output over there so with redirection so whenever you are redirecting the standard input and output the above standard input output can be changed so how it's going to change and i'm going to show it and practically so let's before that uh, let's see that what is the file descriptor number and symbols we have we are going to use it and what that description of that file descriptor so the file descriptor is example it shows us a zero then the symbol is uh, uh, less than then standard input so that's going to be a standard input so then uh, the file descriptor is going to be a one then uh, the symbol is uh, greater than then the standard output so what it do is that so whenever you do an less than which uh, actually input the terminal so whenever whatever the commands you wanted to execute then you just write it in the file and input from there to the um, terminal so it will execute those commands so you, you wanted to output the uh, you want to store that output in some other file somewhere else then you can just use that um, symbol okay then if you want to do an a uh, error redirection example i don't want to capture input and output i just wanted to capture only the error log messages example like that then you can use the two redirection sign so that's the name captures the standard error so let's jump into the practical and see how we can do this all of this uh, example over here so i am into the uh, linux over here so which is my rhl 8.3 you can simply so that data uh, iphone release version so 8.3 here so i would like to um, example show that how exactly the standard input output works so i just wanted to do an ls over here which is an input i am giving it as an ls command and output is this one so all of these uh, files is going to be in a output okay so this is a standard input and this is a standard output over here so if you want to example you want to redirect this uh, output to some other files example so ls i would just would like to uh, do an ls if an ltr over here and i just wanted to redirect this to slash tmp file output something like this so what it will do is that it does not give any output over here so the output has been changed to the file what happens so whenever the output is redirected to the file what happened the output has been stored into this file if you just go to the 
just cat this file you can see that the output has been stored to this file so this is an a redirection sign which will send the output the standard output to the file so example if you want to append example i would like to append this here instead of uh, ls i just wanted to update the date so you can just use this one and now cat the file again so you can see end of that file which was appended with the date so like this what you can do is that you can just uh, uh, change the output redirection to the one of the file so if you want to example uh, you want to input you want to input to the terminal with the file so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to open a simple file say uh, mail something like this so in this i'm just going to write uh, like this as techrkit thanks for the video then i just write this as my email output so email body i just write it so i wanted to send this email to the someone else so then what i can do is that email icon s then my subject is something like thank you okay then i would like to send this one to the uh, user maybe just verify that user whether i have that user or or there is not so i have this user over here just uh, send it to that email i am just going to send this email to the uh, aravi user okay thank you then i am just going to say is that aravi and i am just sending this file as an a body to that email so this user then you can just send uh, say this one and mail if and yes and uh, uh, yes is on a subject line and a ravi and username are the email address of that user and then i am sending this mail as an a body to that user okay so here okay so the mail command is not installed over here so that's why it's not able to succeed that but you can do this similar way so this content is goes into the body of that so i'm not typing any uh, email body over here but i'm uh, inputting this as a body of that email so then it's going to send that email saying that so and so message okay so that's the one otherwise if you want to example something like how many lines are there in this file something like that you can input this and you can get the same in, uh, input over here something like this so you are sending this uh, content as a redirection to this uh, terminal then you can see this wca if an lv is reading and uh, this file contains five lines something like this so you can also do like this otherwise you can also redirect something like this when uh, you wanted to execute some commands you can also execute it over here okay then that input will execute the commands so that way you can input and you can re output so output you can redirect it input you can redirect it so how you want to redirect the error example so let's uh, switch back to the one of the user i just wanted to change one of the uh, root password trying to change it over here so this is an uh, error message here so how you say that this is an uh, error message if you can um, query this one you can see that the error message is 253 so that's the error message over here so but uh, i don't want to redirect any of the file content or anything i just wanted to redirect the error message to somewhere else so then now we can redirect it here so you just say to redirect sign and provide something like this so the error has been not shown over here and it was sent to the error message so like this whenever you are doing something you just wanted to redirect only the error message to the particular log file somewhere else then you can do to and redirect and sign so this what happens 
the error will be captured into the some of the files you can easily identify that okay this is the error message then you have to do something to resolve that error so that's the way uh, you can just input output and redirect the uh, standard input and output and errors so in case so where exactly you can use this methods to um, input output and re redirect this uh, uh, input output and errors so here this would be very helpful when you are typing example you have a lot of content in example slash etc i would like to see all of this content ls ldr so this is like you have to scroll up and down and uh, see all of this information over here right then instead you can just do is that you can just simply redirect to the one of the file example slash it is output something like this then what you can do you can just download that file and put it in a nice format and see that or you can also import the some of the csv file something like that you can filter those content based on your requirement then you can uh, look for the content what you want so that would be sometime helpful or uh, sometime i don't want it to enter any commands or the any email body something like that but i want to automatically send the email at particular time to the some users with the some standard email body then you can also use that way so uh, sometimes i want i have scheduled some chrome tab here okay example say that um, password root something like this so that is example i am saying here that is the command i would like to uh, do it at every one minute from the some other user something like this then i want to capture the errors something uh, somewhere in uh, var log so okay error messages something like this so what happens whenever the chrome job has been executing then it has some errors then it will redirect to that error messages then you can just cat that file every day maybe some some way around whenever when it was failed then you can simply go to that uh, var log error messages and see that okay there the chrome job executed with a errors so that way you can use this standard input output and redirections to the uh, in your real time in scenarios so that would be more useful for the as a beginner and experts or anybody can use this uh, file description methods input output redirections so that would be more more useful when you would like to store the input and output to the file that's about it guys for this session thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses